girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosalind, if you're new. And we made it to Amazon this morning. Um, it is 6.15 this morning. So, y'all, this is a whole different facility. I normally don't go to this one, but they had a shift and it's really hard to get shifts at Amazon. So we are here early. Um, this is only for three and a half hours. So I think that, y'all comment down below how many packages you think I'm gonna get today for three and a half hours? I think like 22. Normally it's like something like 22 packages. Also, this is a facility where they have the Amazon people out, so I gotta be discreet. But yeah, let me go get the packages, y'all. 22, that's what I guessed. <laughs> Done this before you fall. I won't catch you, don't know I'm scarred. Cause you love to have a more crap. We only ended up getting 18 packages, which is awesome. Also, the place that I'm going to, um, I have to like pass my city up to get to, but it's it's going my way. So I love when I come to this facility because I always end up going somewhere like on my side of town, which is perfect. See, we only got 18 packages. This is gonna be a pretty fast shift three and a half hours um normally when they it's like three and a half hours they get it right pretty much all the time but we're gonna say since this shift starts at 6 15 and ends at 9 45 let's finish by nine o'clock that's the goal today nine o'clock and i will come back when it's daylight because right now it is dark outside y'all not gonna be able to see me but it's, it takes like 45 minutes to get there let me let me double check it says it takes 44 minutes to get there in 44 minutes it'll be seven o'clock so it should be daylight <laughs> or be trying to it'll be a little bit lighter it'll try to be daylight at seven o'clock um one thing i did not tell y'all is i wanted to tell y'all like how many apartments or whatever but with shifts like this the three and a half hours it i never really worry about how many apartments because it doesn't take long to deliver these Oh yeah, and this is for $77 today. So it's three and a half hours for $77, which is pretty good, especially if I get done early. Um, it says I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five apartments. And last time I had apartments, y'all, in this city that I'm going to, I couldn't get into the gate. So I had to end up bringing a package back. But you know what? At this rate, it doesn't even matter because this facility is not far from my house. And, you know, you got to do what you got to do. If you can't get in the gate, you can't get in the gate. So we're not even going to worry about that today. We only have 18 packages. I will see y'all in the daylight. Y'all, I already delivered three packages. One was to an apartment. Um, and then it was two houses. Now, the apartment, it was very easy. These It was an open apartment. It was no gate. It was so easy to deliver. But it was dark, so I couldn't bring y'all with me. But now, since it's daylight, we are about to deliver to this house. And we're about to deliver this package that's up front with me. I love this kind of shift, y'all, because I know it's not going to be a long shift. And it's going to be fairly easy when it's only three and a half hours especially at this facility that I'm, i went to this morning um it says beware of dog hopefully they're in the gate but let's go deliver it um, be sweet. i did not hear a dog thank god we have 14 more stops left like i said we started with 18 packages um and thank god the daylight is coming y'all because i it took me 45 minutes to get here and it was pitch black 7 18 now it took like an extra 15 minutes <laughs> after seven for the daylight to come up so the next one that we're going to is going to be a house and let's see it says that it is a plastic bag so it should be up here all right it's this package and it's saying that it is two minutes away i wish i could get like several little shifts it is so easy to get through these little three hour three and a half hour shifts like give me two three and a half hour shifts for a good amount and i'm sold i like i love the short shifts but i hardly ever get them i always take the five hour shifts because 
it just makes more sense like I know I'm gonna finish early and it's gonna be $90 you know what shift I never finish early or hardly ever finish early the shifts that are four and a half hours the five hours it seems like you get done early every time the three hours you get during done early the three and a half hours you know most of the time you get done early but it's something about the four and a half hour shifts that they go for four and a half hours i've had four and a half hour shifts to go to five hours and i was like why did y'all even make this a four and a half hour shift if it was a five hour shift so i i normally choose the five hour shifts because i know that on average you're going to finish early you're going to get pretty much you know more money and less hours um but these three and a half hour shifts i normally finish early you know what kind of now that i'm thinking about it the half it's the half part that be throwing it off because i've had three and a half hour shifts that went the whole three and a half hours so it's something about them adding that half in there that makes it not finish early but i do know this area i know that I'm gonna finish early with this shift because this area is I've never had a a shift go all the way through we are pulling up to the next house and these have apartments which I don't I don't mind the apartments here because majority of the apartments here you don't have to go through a gate but if you do have to go through a gate you better know that <laughs> it's gonna be a problem because even though they have like upgraded and they have a gate they it's not easy to get in like the office is definitely not going to be open this early and for some reason they don't have keypads like i think this is the house i passed up they don't have the little keypads this is the place they have like the key fob to get in or you automatically get in another way so hopefully all of the apartments that we delivered to today which i think i have four more hopefully they're traditional you know you just walked into them without needing the key fob or anything or no gate we don't want that okay so we are at this house they have the plastic bag we already found it we just gonna scan it Sorry, it's cool. give them this and more I go. Uh, you about money, you the next one is a box so it's probably in the back it says the next house is four minutes away and 1.6 miles y'all let me tell you about these shifts like i don't know it's something about january that you just don't get that many shifts with amazon or people are just really taking all the shifts at amazon it took me so long to get this shift that's why it's a three and a half hour one i normally just do five hours but something about january that people just don't want to spend no money i guess because they don't have a lot of packages or they just have a lot of people working i don't know which one it is but man if you want to do amazon flex after christmas it's just crazy it gets real slow now one thing i can look forward to is tax time <laughs> next month february is gonna be tax time people gonna be spending money again it should pick up but january you are fighting for your life to get a shift and i'm fighting this week so that sucks this is like i think this is the only shift that i have for the rest of this week today is saturday which this video will be going up this this morning or it'll be going up today um but like I don't have a shift for tomorrow. It is so hard to get shifts with Amazon. I don't know. January is just not a good month for an Amazon Flexer. Like it is, it's tough. And I be tapping to try to get a shift like all day. If you do Amazon Flex, just know you finna be hustling. <laughs> you gonna be hustling day and night getting shifts. And most of the time it works out. But for some reason this, this month so far, and what is this, the 13th today? For some reason, it is tough i am so happy i got this shift somebody must have like had something to do and they dropped it because there was no shifts available and you know what i'm saying that i live in a metroplex so there's a shift available but i cannot go all over the place like it's it's specific amazon uh facilities that i go to that are by me and if they are like too far out unless they're paying 
big big money and I do mean like 200 and something dollars which they they have before I'm not going to drive way out there I'm not gonna drive an hour an hour and 15 minutes to a facility and then they take me like another hour out of the way and then it takes me two hours to get home like that's that's what the Metroplex be doing to you if you want a shift you can probably always get a shift but you might want to just pick a few facilities that are close to you. Oh, I think I passed up the... Y'all. I'm talking to y'all and I'm passing up my turn. But they have a whole bunch of facilities. But you might want to just pick a few that are close to you. And like you know what areas they go to that are not going to be too far away from your house. Because, you know, we got to we gotta work smarter, not harder. We got to get the bang for our buck. We can't be driving too far away. It's already far away going 40 minutes. So yeah fighting for my life with these amazon shoes right now <laughs> i was like are they gonna get a video today i don't know but y'all definitely are we made it to this neighborhood and it says it's gonna be on this street i think meanwhile i need gas right now my gas light came on on the way over here and i knew i needed gas but you know how it is i'll get gas in the morning never happens <laughs> last night i was like um i'm definitely not finna go get no gas right now i'll get gas in the morning and look at me needing gas in the morning still so we're gonna ride this gas out until we can't ride this gas out anymore but we made it to the next house let's go deliver it so this next one is an apartment and it says it's a box so let's go in the back and look for it all right we found that package and it's a good thing that we only had 18 packages y'all because literally i don't have to do any special thing to find the packages like they're right here or they back there um it says the next one is five minutes away and you know what else i'm happy about with this shift even though it's not that many packages they're not too far away from each other because i've had times where you know it'll be 15 minutes to here 10 minutes there because it's not a lot of packages and they're trying to make up for the time but so far they don't have to make up for it are we going the right way what does it say i feel like we're going the wrong way so let's turn around i'll meet y'all at the next stop we're pulling up to the next apartment and from the street i could already see that the gate is open so I feel real good about this. Oh, both sides are open. Oh, they don't have a gate. Even better. It looks like they used to have a gate, but they got rid of it. Hallelujah. These are traditional apartments, which means it's just two stories and you can get in them without a key fob. Everything we love. So this is going to be super easy to, to deliver and then we're going to be off to the next one. Y'all, they said that next week it, we're supposed to have snow and ice and all of the winter storm stuff. So I don't know if I will be doing any Amazoning at that time. But what I can say about that is if you are scheduled for Amazon and Amazon shuts down for inclement weather, they will still pay you they don't cancel your shift 24 hours before time then they will send you a message saying that don't come to the facility but you will still be paid and i love a don't come to the facility you still will be paid so i did end up for next week i end up getting a shift for monday and tuesday and i think tomorrow starts our little winter situation so i may be getting free money we are i think this is the apartment that we're going to but I think they're remodeling so I can't really tell what building this is I hope it's 10 I hope it's 10 it's saying I made it but like y'all <laughs> what is the building number I don't know hopefully this is the right building it says that's nine right here so if this is nine hopefully this is ten but like I said if you're scheduled and there's inclement weather even if it, if it's anything that has to do with amazon shutting down and they don't send you a message within 24 hours you are going to get paid for it and they're going to send you an email saying don't come to the facility but you'll still be paid and like i don't know if it was last year or the year before but i had like four shifts that week and i got paid for all of them and i was at home for a whole week i think that was probably like in 2021 or something like that when they was um 
when the lights and stuff was getting turned off in Texas and all of that because of the weather. But that week that I did not, I was not able to go to work, I got paid for at least four days. And I was like, hallelujah, because it could have just been broke. <laughs> we could have just been broke. Anyway, let's go and see if this is building 10. We ended up going to the right building. It doesn't have a number on there, but thank God these directions was accurate. I will meet y'all at the next apartment. We made it to the next apartment. And these are traditional also. We love a traditional apartment. These are not even numbered. Well, they're numbered, but their buildings are letters. And we're looking for K. K1. How old do your apartments have to be to have letters? I'm just playing. I've been to new apartments with letters and I don't like the alphabet like that. <laughs> because they don't put the letters in order. They'll have the letters, you know, you got E over here and you got Z by E. Who built these apartments? But with that being said, it's not confusing. I'm seeing the apartments right now. It's kind of set up like the motel, the ones I got to deliver to. Hopefully this one is at the bottom. This is giving days in. <laughs> Uh, they have an access code even though they don't have a gate. I appreciate them. Okay, so I'm in front of three, so one is right there. Oh, perfect, y'all. We're going to one. We ain't even got to go for oh, I forgot. We got to look for the package in the back. the apartments to be like that we want all the apartments to be like days in which i'm not making fun of the apartments like i'm just happy that it's so simple just the upstairs and the downstairs and the doors are literally right in front of me i love that <laughs> so it says the next stop is an apartment and it's two minutes away and it's a box let's see first we're gonna check and see if it's up here okay, so it's really a box today let's go to the back and get it now that's odd it's not back there is it the apartments i thought it was oh it's this one this is not a box but close enough it's weird because the way this is set up oh you know what y'all this is not it this is not it i was gonna say it's set up they don't have the address the same but it's really not the same at all let's see I don't know where that other one is. We're looking for 700. I don't see 700 anywhere. Please don't tell me they didn't told me I had a package that's not with me. I didn't even count these packages. When you go to that facility, you just scan the bag and they tell you, don't scan individual packages. Scan the bag and it'll scan into your phone. But where is that? Did it fall on the side? Because they fell on the side before. What the heck is this? Now we got to go to the back again. Oh, I wasn't looking good enough. Here it is. I was about to say. Yeah, this is the one. I was about to say, y'all. Like, come on. I don't want... And if you put missing package, I don't know if it counts against you or not. But I don't want to have to put it in there. I didn't get the package, but I did. I wasn't looking good enough. The next one is two minutes away. I'll meet y'all over there. Pulling up to another traditional apartment. I could do all apartments if they were traditional. I could really do all apartments if they was traditional. If they was just two stories and you didn't have a problem getting in them. I could do those all day, no, no complaints. <laughs> I could do a whole complex. You know what, y'all? I haven't had it with y'all yet, but I used to get a whole lot of um, shifts when I went to a different facility that had a whole bunch of apartments. And the apartments, they be like three and four stories. And it'd be like 30 packages there. And you would think, oh, that's not too bad. At least you're in the same area. But when you don't have lockers at those apartments and you're walking up and down three flights of stairs, four flights of stairs, and just over and over back to back to back oh my god when i get through with that shift y'all i'll be i'll be ready to quit amazon i'll be so tired that i'll be ready to quit amazon because i 30 apartments back to back that is a punishment i think this is the building that we're supposed to be delivering to um hopefully it's at the end because it's telling me to stop here 
so let's park and I love when apartments have parking because I don't have to inconvenience the people that live here and park in the middle <laughs> I won't be long let's see 5202 is what I'm delivering and I don't know if this is the apartment right here I can't really see that far is it 520 I think that says one so we probably gonna have to walk down there but I'm gonna park right here because this is the only parking I see that's close all right y'all let's go take it up there when I take it all, I feel it coming down too strong cause I it is hard to resist I had to end up walking to the back I think all of the apartments up front are odd and all the apartments in the back are even but thank God it was just one apartment behind the the front that I had to go to okay so the next one is only three minutes away and it's another apartment and it says it's up front okay so it's this one let's see how many apartments we have left oh I better not I better not get out this screen one thing I could tell y'all about the Amazon app is I always check and see how many bars you have um how many if you on 5g 4g whatever see how your connection is because i was about to check and see how many more i have but if you get out of the screen and you don't have no connection you ain't gonna know where to go next <laughs> that thing gonna keep on spinning you ain't gonna you gonna lose your address i have one bar now so i know if i get out this screen i may have to go drive somewhere with their service and then get back on track and that's just gonna take too long um but let's see three minutes away Look, it's still spinning. Let's go. I'll meet y'all over there. We're doing so good today with apartments. Another traditional apartment, no gate, two stories. And it looks like this may be on, I don't know what floor it's going to be on. It don't matter. It's only two floors. We love a traditional. I don't even know how many more apartments we have, but it don't even matter at this rate. It is 7.55 right now. Our goal is 9 o'clock, so I think we're going to meet it. Let me see, 2, 4, 6. After I drop this off, I have 7 more, so we should meet this without a problem. These apartments are simple, and but one thing that I like, well, besides they're simple, I love a simple apartment, is that you can see the building number. It's a lot of the fancier apartments. I don't know what be going on, but they do not like to post the building number somewhere where you can see it. Is this where we're going? Oh, it looks like we're going to be going to the top. We're going to be walking up the stairs. We're just going to park over here on the side right quick out the way. So the next one is also an apartment, which I love because we can get these apartments out the way. Um, it says that it's a box, so it's probably in the back. Let's go look. All right, it was right there. I'll meet y'all over there. It only took two minutes to get to these apartments. And again, traditional two-story apartments. We love in it. So some of these apartments are two stories. Some of them are three stories. The apartment number we're going to is 1024. So it might be on the third floor. I don't know. Or the fourth. Is it third? Yeah, third floor. I think this is the building right here. Let's see. 1017 to 1028. So since it's not much parking over here, we're just going to park right here and put our emergency lights on so everybody know we in the way. But I think we're going all the way to the top over here, y'all. Let me move up some so y'all can kind of see what's going on. We just went to those apartments and when I went up to the next door, it was in the 30s. So we already, <laughs> we already doing extra work we don't want to do. Hopefully over here that's where the apartment i'm looking for is on the bottom floor but if not we're gonna have to drive around i'll be back the other side was not it the good thing is it's gonna be the bottom floor because it goes 10 20 30. the bad thing is we did all that work and we didn't get to deliver so we're gonna drive around and hopefully the right apartment is around here oh they have side apartments and they have back apartments let's see if it's on the side 24 so that's 22 don't tell me it's this bottom one right here that's 23 so we're gonna have to go over here dang 
we're gonna have to go to the back which is right in front of me right now and deliver but it's the bottom floor oh i think it's this one right here because they have a number on their gate do they want it at the gate let's see nope they want it on the front porch all right y'all y'all can probably see from here turn it down make it sweet and that customer has been shopping y'all they got a whole couch in a box on their porch <laughs> i was like is this shows making everything delivered couches amazon everything the next one is a house and it's saying that it is three minutes away and it is a box so it might be in the back but let's look in the front first yes in the back that was easy to find one thing i hate is going up a flight of stairs when the apartment is not up there <laughs> rookie mistake i'm not a rookie i didn't walk up a flight of stairs and it wasn't even the apartments that was crazy like who does that at a time like this <laughs> for some reason i didn't read the building right like if i would have read the building right i would have know the next flight is gonna be two and then the next is gonna be three starting three I just want to get a little exercise I guess right now it's 806 we have until 9 to get finished um is it 9 I think 9 30 or 9 45 is when my shift is over I can't remember if it's three and a half hours I got there at 6 15 probably 9 30 so we'll finish 30 minutes early if we hurry up I'll meet y'all at the next stop we made it to the next house okay so the next one is also a house and it is four minutes away and when i tell y'all i'm still rolling on this gas that says low fuel i'm still rolling on it i'm gonna roll on it until i can't see no no orange no more i know my car do y'all ever say that <laughs> i know my car i know when i don't see orange anymore in my car that i can make it to the gas station to get some gas <laughs> but as long as there's orange on here you still good girl keep rolling i'm about to come out of this neighborhood and i will meet y'all at the next house we made it to the next neighborhood it's saying that the house is gonna be down this street we're about to go down oh no it ain't close enough though it's gonna be at the end of the street somewhere i wonder if i have any more apartments i feel like i've delivered to all the apartments i had five apartments i think did we deliver five i can't remember i'm gonna check after i drop this off for some reason, this doesn't have any stop signs. Like, <laughs> this neighborhood doesn't have any stop signs. Do so y'all just yield everywhere? And I know everybody ain't yielding. When I don't see stop signs, I just stop because people be in a hurry when they leave their house. Okay, this is a house that we're at. Hopefully, it's not their house that they're. We got some people coming right now. Okay, it's not because I be parked right in front of the driveway because I know I'm be I'm gonna be real quick with it. So. Where's the package? Did I get it already? Y'all, I didn't get the package. Let's go to the back and get it. I'm just gonna put this last package up for Let's see how many packages we have left. All of them are up front with me now. So we got one, two, three, four, and five. We got five more left two minutes to the next one and i don't think any of these are apartments let's see all of these are houses i feel like they are i can't see this one because the tape is on it if all of these are houses we did so good with getting all the apartments delivered today and they're all houses we're two minutes away from the next one so i will meet y'all over there we made it to the next neighborhood and it looks like there are two packages that go to this next neighborhood which is so nice. It's 8.17, y'all. And if things keep going like they have been, like two minutes away, one minute away, we'll be finished before 9 o'clock. And I can't be mad if we finish before the time I said. Like, that'll be superior. Um, oh, got a walker. <laughs> this is a very spread out community. I wish I had a house like this where you have a whole lot of front yard and a whole lot of backyard. And they have these little speed bumps. <laughs> I can see why though, because this street is just so long. I could, people are gonna definitely speed going down because you're just trying to get to the end. Meanwhile, I'm passing up the house I need to be at. Let's back it on up. 
and we're just gonna pull in the driveway we're gonna pull in the driveway are we you know what no I'm not I'm not gonna pull in their driveway people don't like when you pull in their driveway we're gonna pull right here on the side put our emergency lights on and we're just gonna walk it out that was a little walk so that customer they had pink trash cans i don't know if they spray painted their trash can they had to because i think their neighbors have green but i didn't know we could do that i didn't know we could sp i thought we were borrowing those i thought they want them back <laughs> comment down below if you can spray paint your trash can a different color or are you just renting them out i don't know i'm not gonna take the chances the next one is one minute away i just found it up front with me and i think it's the next street i'll meet y'all over there we made it to the next house and look they got a little walkway for us to go through this is going to be super easy meanwhile i just looked at my gas it says you have none left so you might want to get to a gas station and i will um do we find the package because things are getting critical with the gas right now i'm getting scared i didn't think we was gonna run out that quick the next gas station we see we gonna have to stop and get some gas um it says the next house is two minutes away we have three packages left it's 823 and here's the package i'll meet y'all over there we coming up to this next house and it was down a long road so we are gonna have to park in the driveway because we're in the street like we can't stay on this street i think this is the house did i pass it up i don't think so i think this is the house so let me go drop this off right quick this envelope okay so he met me outside i didn't have to go take it to his porch so i had to go ahead and put that i handed it to the customer um the next one is nine minutes away so one thing i do know for a fact is <laughs> we better find some gas on the way nine minutes away for this next one we got two packages left let's see what time it is 8 26 we're definitely gonna finish early we definitely gonna finish earlier than i thought so hopefully this is not gonna be a lot of county roads i need gas <laughs> it's critical i need gas i feel like i'm in the country where are the gas stations I keep on just taking chances like this. Where are the gas stations at? Is anybody going to be able to find me if I run out of gas? I do not see any gas stations and I think we about to go down another long road. <laughs> I, I don't know. We're going to have to take a chance, I guess. I don't know, y'all. There's no gas stations around. All I see is like form. Ooh, that was a little dip. If we make it to the next house, I'll be back. We're almost to the next stop. We still are rolling, so that's a good thing. Are we afraid? Yes, we are very afraid. The good thing is both the last two packages are in the same area. So after I drop this off, I'm probably one or two minutes away from the last package. And then we can just start looking for any gas. And hopefully it's not too far away. Where are we going down a dirt road? What is really going on? Where are we taking this? I don't I don't know oh deliver at shop behind house okay you got to read girl reading is fundamental so we're going to deliver this to the shop behind their house I guess they got a business behind their house on a little rocky dirt road which building though because it's telling me to go all the way around this is their house where do you want it it says deliver over here delivered at shop behind house well this is the shop it's saying we haven't made it there yet but we're gonna go deliver over here and i guess we're just gonna leave it at the porch let's see we did as instructed i mean it's saying still deliver over here to the house like the way they were giving me directions it was like deliver to the house but since they said deliver it to the shop behind the house we're just going to deliver over there and hope that that's the shop because they have like three they have a little building over here a big building right here which is behind the house and then they have one to the side over here which i don't know 
yeah this couldn't have been it that's like a little storage and then this is like some oh i think that's her neighbor's garage so that has to be it we did right the next one is three minutes away oh it's two minutes away now that we came out of those folks um driveway so it's two minutes away and then we're just gonna cross our fingers on making it to the gas station but at least we delivered all the packages by then they're pretty inconvenience it's not gonna stop the packages from being delivered i think we're going to the next street and this is like a little county road area so i will meet y'all over there look at this can y'all they have goats i don't even know if y'all can see this y'all probably can't can y'all see the goats I said, can y'all see the ghosts? The ghosts start looking over here at me. They heard their name. Do y'all know y'all ghosts? <laughs> I'll meet y'all at the next house. We made it to the next house, and this woman is outside with her dog. So, I might have to put y'all up so she don't get scared. I'm just going to kind of park over here. You know what? I'm just going to, maybe y'all can still see me. I'm going to park on the side over here. And if I'm far away enough, maybe this won't be a problem. I just had to run away from my dog y'all so i'm gonna pull into their driveway since their dog is so aggressive and hopefully she'll see me me running away from dog this early is crazy because at first he was like you ain't coming over here ain't gonna mess with you but then look at him standing over here y'all he is standing over here Ma'am, did you not know I was coming? Why my last stop got to be like this? <laughs> I have a package for you. <laughs> He's territorial. <laughs> Whoa. Have a, <laughs> have a good day. I had to run for my life, y'all. Like, she said that this is not her dog. It's a dog that's like for a fire chief in the neighborhood, but he think he run the neighborhood. So this is not even her dog. This is not even her fault. Okay. But I was going to deliver this package. I seen the dog. I stood my ground. Right. And then he just started walking towards me and then he kind of started running. So I had to run back to the car. I don't even know if y'all seen that. I had to run back to the car for my life at the end of my life. <laughs> and he's not friendly. Like I was like, you know, maybe when by the time he gets to the car he won't be barking and all of that he be wagging his tail no he was ready he was ready to protect this whole neighborhood but anyway that wasn't her dog she was saying she's sorry you know that he's acting like that but he's not even her dog he's like the dog across the the owner is across the street but he is definitely protecting this neighborhood and i am so happy i didn't walk further to her house because I, like i said if I have a problem with a dog. If I get bit by a dog, that's the end. That's the end of Amazon for me. I, I can't handle it. Anyway, it is officially, let's see, did I even close it out? I don't even know y'all. It's saying I didn't even close it out because I, let me close this out first. It was 841 that we um, finished, but now it's saying 842 because I had to close that out. We finished at 841 officially which was way better than what we thought. We thought we were gonna finish at nine o'clock, um, 30 minutes early, and we finished at 8.41. This was a good shift besides that last drop that I almost got attacked by a dog. <laughs> y'all, I don't know if y'all see me, y'all should see me running. That was crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna run to the gas station before I run out of gas in this neighborhood. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, 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 comment 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 subscribe 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 also hit that notification bell so you know every time i post and lately it's been every day i love y'all so much for watching and i will talk to y'all later bye y'all i can't take no more